Hey guys, welcome back to Playground Sessions. I'm Phil, and today we're going to be looking at a tune by Avicii called Wake Me Up. We're going to be learning the main theme, or the interlude riff, and because that's such an awesome part, I'm going to be showing you guys the advanced arrangement, which has it exactly as you know it from the song. Now in the Playground Sessions app, we've got the same song in an intermediate level and a rookie level, so that no matter what level you are, you can play this song. And of course, you can get the app by tapping the card above. But in this video, we're looking at this one section from the advanced arrangement, and that section sounds like this. One, two, set, go. And that's how you do it, and we're going to be breaking this down right hand, left hand, hands together in this video. But first, I gotta ask you a question and hit me with your answers in the comments below. What's your favorite song to dance to? It does not have to be EDM. You don't have to be in the club. What's your favorite song to break it down to? All right, let's start by going over the right hand. But first, time signature, key signature. We gotta check those things out before we dive into any piece of music. Time signature here is 4-4, four, four, pretty straightforward. Key signature, two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. That means we're in the key of D major or B minor. Those are the two keys that are related because they share the same key signature. For our hand position, we're gonna start with our two finger on the B above middle C, and we're gonna be right around this position the whole time, although we do shift our hand up by one halfway through the phrase. So we start here, and then here we actually play the D with our third finger instead of our fourth finger, so we shift up So we finish out the second half of the phrase up here. Then here, measure three, our two finger goes back down to B. So we really just pivot in the middle, up by one, and then we pivot back down. Jump up. And jump back down. And then that repeats. In fact, that phrase repeats four times. That's all there is to it. So why don't we try this at our medium tempo, and then we'll try it at full tempo. One two, set, go. Three up, two back down. Same thing here. Look ahead, same thing. Try that with me as many times as you need to feel comfy at that tempo, at 76 beats per minute. But now we're gonna go to full speed, 120. One, two, here we go. job now let's move over to the left hand as you can see at first glance we have a handful of chords mostly half notes but some quarter notes and then at the very end we have a little riff a little melody in the left hand so let's go over it first the chords we're gonna start with a B minor octave and a fifth and then we're gonna move that shape down to a G octave and fifth then up to a root position D triad we're gonna do that with our four two one fingers we play another quarter note of the same chord, and then a quarter note of A over C sharp, with five, three, one. And then we repeat the cycle. B minor again, G major again, D major root position again. But this time, our final chord is not A over C sharp, it's F sharp over C sharp, and that looks like this. Okay, all right, next line down, same thing as the beginning, B minor, root position D, and then A over C sharp. Okay, fourth phrase starts the same, B minor, fifth, and an octave, G, fifth, and an octave, root position D, but this time we don't play a final quarter note chord, we're actually gonna join the right hand melody with this little riff. Okay, your hand's already in position when we're playing the D major chord, at the beginning of the last measure, and then we play with our fourth finger, F sharp of two, 
Okay, and you're going to be doing that at the same time as the right hand. But we'll get there in a minute. Why don't we try the left hand part now at a medium tempo, the learning tempo of 76. One, two, set, go. B minor, G, root position, D. Now, quarter note, A over C sharp, back to B minor. This time it's F sharp over C sharp. comes our riff. All right, good job. Sit with that for a minute if you need. But now we're gonna bump it up to 120, full tempo. One, two, let's go. Alright guys, let's put the hands together. But first, let me remind you, when we're finished with this section in this video, there's still a lot more song to learn. And if this is too difficult for you, we've got the same song in easier levels, all of which can be found in the Playground Sessions app. Go ahead and tap the card above to learn more. You can download the app from the site, you can start playing right away. It's awesome, so check that out guys. Alright, the trick to putting the hands together for this song is going to be slow, patient practicing. In fact, I want you to pause this video and walk through hands together with no tempo, no metronome, no pressure to play the right rhythms or to play in time. The point of that exercise will be to figure out when the hands play together, in other words, to start this section they play together, then the right hand plays, then they play together again. Then it's right hand until the beginning of the next measure where they play together again. See what I'm saying? So that's exactly what I want you to do. Pause this video, walk through it like I just did. Enough times where you feel comfy, okay? Then meet me back here. We're gonna try it together at medium tempo. Then of course, we'll wrap it up by doing full tempo. So here's 76 beats per minute. One, two, set, go. home stretch don't forget to check out playgroundsessions.com get the app when you're finished but let's go ahead and wrap it up wake me up by avici advanced level arrangement of the main riff it's going down let's do it one two set go Way to go, give yourselves a round of applause. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.